Not being able to explain an exercise clearly to a group is one of the things that really trips up a new facilitator. Or even facilitators that have been doing this for years sometimes don't know how to explain an exercise. And that's because they don't have a formula for how to explain things. The video that I'm about to show you, it's a clip from our course, Workshop or Master. I'm gonna show you the exact formula for explaining how to run an exercise. Any exercise that you can think about in a facilitated session can be explained using the formula you're about to see, and I really hope you find it useful. Let's get into it. Honestly, there is nothing more frustrating Nothing, and every 99% of facilitators in the world do this because they just don't learn it. There's nothing more fr frustrating than a facilitator telling you how to do an exercise and only 50% of the room understands what the hell was, was told, right? Like, hey everybody, we're gonna do uh, how might we exercise now? So everybody write the challenges on the post-it and okay, let's do it. You've got 10 minutes. And everyone's looking around like, what, 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 what is he talking about? I don't understand. It's because this person doesn't know the formula. And one thing for me, when I, when I you know, interview facilitators and ask them to show me, hey, show me this exercise, this is the first thing that always catches them out. They do not know this formula. So the formula is super simple. It's what, why, and how. What is the exercise? Okay, what is the exercise? Why are we doing this exercise? How do you do the exercise? It's, it's really, really that simple. Let me give you a very simple example. So a super common exercise that you'll see in workshops is called, how might we? Let me show you how to give those instructions correctly. Hey everybody, we're now gonna do an exercise called, how might we? What? How might we is a very simple exercise that's going to allow us to turn challenges and problems that we have into very clear statements that we're going to be able to use to create solutions from. We're doing this because we need a system, we need a standardized system to create solutions from. Why? Here's how you do it. You write HMW on the top left of your post-it like this, HMW means how might we. So your expert in the room is going to speak and talk about the challenges that she has. And when you hear something like a negative challenge or statement, like for example, we're not getting enough customers into the checkout, then you're going to turn that into a how might we statement, which is more like an opportunity, something we're gonna be able to create a solution from. So, hey, we are really not getting enough customers into the checkout. How might we increase amount of customers getting to the checkout? All you're doing is turning something that could be negative or a challenge or a problem into an opportunity statement. That's the how. This works for every single exercise on the entire planet. And if you can manage to hit these three things, you're going to have a much higher chance of people understanding how to do something. I flew through all of that right now. Usually I'll show them slides. I'll do like three or four examples so they'll really understand. But if you can do this, then you're already gonna reduce the amount of confusion in your audience immediately. Now, a really important thing to understand is that this what, why, how, and especially the why, can also connect to previous exercises and the next exercises. So the why often is giving context. If I'm doing an exercise that's following on from how might we, so for example, hey everybody, we're now going to create solutions using a system called note and vote. This follows on from the previous exercise and we're going to be able to use the how might we's we created in the previous exercise as a foundation for the solutions we're creating. We're using this exercise because it's a really great way of producing multiple solutions without having to focus on any one of them at any one time. And here's how you do it. So it's in this case, you might be connecting it to the previous exercise or talking about the next exercise. Now, there's another layer on top of this. So this is, the, this is how you explain an exercise. This is just the simple framework for explaining an exercise. But as you'll also see in the booklet, there is something called the 3x rule. 
And this applies no matter how good you are at explaining things. So even if you really nail explanation, you're still gonna fall into something called the 3x rule. And this, will, this goes for explaining anything. And here's how it goes. Basically, the first time you explain something, 50% of the audience will understand it. The second time you explain something, 75% of the audience will understand it. And the third time, you get to 95%. That sounds really, really crazy, but you need to describe things to people three times before almost everyone in the room actually understands how to do something. And for me, that's why when I'm doing something like the how might we exercise, especially when I get to the how section, I'll show three or four examples of exactly how to do it. I don't assume just because I did an okay job of explaining it that everyone got it. Some people weren't listening, someone was doodling. So you really need to explain things three times before most of the people in the room will actually understand. So don't beat yourself up or don't think the audience is stupid if you do a great job here, but they still don't understand what you're talking about, you're still going to need to repeat yourself up to three times before people really get what you're talking about. Now, this doesn't mean I need to repeat the what, why, and how three times really specifically in detail. What I can do is say what, why, how in detail, then summarize it, then summarize it, and then show a couple of examples of how. This 3x rule is going to apply no matter how clear you speak, no matter how well you do this, no matter how easy the exercise is. And the problem is, if you don't listen to the 3x rule, what's going to happen is that people are, are they're, they're going to be too embarrassed to say they don't know how to do the exercise. They're gonna do it, but they're gonna do it wrong. So you really need to take the time to get the three keys of explaining an exercise correctly, but then add the 3x rule and then everyone's going to understand. These two things together are the perfect formula for explaining and helping people understand how to do exercises in a workshop. And I really, really hope this is something you take away from this course with you. Okay, so I hope that formula for clear instructions was useful for you. If it was useful, let us know down below if you want us to make more videos like this for facilitators who want to absolutely nail it. Now, if you're a facilitator, if you like that video, if you wanna get into the whole facilitation game, especially if you wanna make that your career or if it's already part of your job, but you wanna make more money with it and get more clients, down below, I've created a one hour free training that's gonna teach you the methods that the top 1% of facilitators in the world use to become the top 1% facilitators. So if you're interested in facilitation as a career, click that button down below or hit that link down below and I'll see you in the free training. See you later, bye. Ah! <laughs>